Hey, what's going on guys? Hex here, and today we're taking a look at Hasbro's Transformers, Titans Returns, Trigger Happy, and Blowpipe. Uh, taking a look at Trigger Happy here in his jet mode. Uh, this is one of the coolest looking jets I think that i would ever seen whenever I was a kid. I remember seeing him in the original G1 cartoon whenever he came on screen in Season 4, uh, Season th or season 4, the 3 episode of The Rebirth. Uh, him, Misfire, and Slug Slinger I thought were some of the coolest looking concept jets that I've ever seen and something that definitely looked like it would come from Cybertron, uh, not something from Earth and uh, I just absolutely love the design of this jet and all its little guns sticking out at you and stuff like that so uh, it's got a really nice color scheme and some nice paint on here so we'll point that out uh, it's got a really awesome uh, transformation which I do like and I will probably start seeing more stuff like that uh, as far as engineering goes here in the future uh, but just to finally have uh, Trigger Happy in my collection I, again you know uh, there was a G1 back then but uh, this thing is awesome I really do dig it and um, there's some nice paint on here like I mentioned so uh, you get these silver and you can see some silver here back throughout here then you get some kind of gold uh, paint so you get that here in the legs uh, here as well you get it here at the uh, tail or the uh, thrusters which those are painted all the way through so the inside and the out so uh, that looks nice uh, then you can also see some nice blue light blue paint here on the fins and also going to, uh, across here septic on logos so uh, quite a bit of paint and then there's some paint that you don't really quite notice unless I point it out to you uh, you got the kind of a, a, a dark or a smoky colored canopy here which is uh, two pieces uh, this is blue paint on top of that canopy right here so going around here on the edges and here on the top so uh, something uh, worth mentioning plus you can see that Decepticon logo so all, all this is uh, all you know paint on top of this so I think that's really cool and then uh, taking a look at the blowpipe here uh, really not a whole lot of you know paint uh, just really here on the uh, trigger happy face but uh, as far as you know just this little guy not really a whole lot to him you know the arms go up and down legs bend stuff like that so uh one thing that uh i'll show you is you could you get these two guns here and you can attach them if you want to just by putting them together and then if you wanted to uh you know set him like so he's got the hole in the feet and you could push them down on that and i could sit here and this can actually plug into his arm and stuff like that so but um it's kind of silly looking so i'm just going to go ahead and transform him into uh trigger happy's head and that's what uh that basically looks like you can see those yellow eyes let me make sure i get it in the light there so you can see but uh, you can see the yellow eyes uh the uh, red there for the face plate uh looks really good all right so as far as uh the art you know transformation for this guy will go from the jet to uh robot and back to jet uh first thing that we're going to do put the landing gear in uh, here then with the arms go ahead and pull this out pull that out go ahead and detach there you can see that that's just plugged in right here to that peg you do the same thing with this and just have those kind of setting out to the side then this, you can grab and just pull these legs down. Go ahead and pull this forward and pull up the heel spur. Go ahead and attach those if you want and rotate here at the waist. And then just leave it setting like so. You can kind of see that. Then with this, you're going to just pull this back, leave that setting down. And you can see the uh, little mushroom there. Uh, you're going to rotate this 180. And then you can come down with it on the waist. This can come back like so. And then these just kind of slide down and they'll connect there. And then down here at the bottom, just give them a push. Just like that. Do the same thing with this one. Connect and push. There you go. And then you can come back with the wings. And, uh, We'll put on the head, I'll, I'll show you one, it shows this in the instructions as well. Uh, get this uh, little head in here. There we go. But before we pull the hands out, it, it did show this in the instructions to where it, it 
showed it like this where you could put the uh, or a little headmaster or a different headmaster in there if you wanted to. I guess you could actually uh, do this if you wanted. Uh, so you could have some kind of like ultimate attack mode or something to where he's got now he's got the uh, guns for the hands and and the shoulders as well. So, but we'll just we'll just do it normal. You would come back with uh, these guns right here and then flip out the hands. And uh, I, I think this guy looks pretty awesome looking. Um, now you can just you would put the guns in his hands uh, just like so. But giving you guys a little 360, you can see a lot of that paint uh, that we saw in the jet mode. It's all appearing here. So with the you know the gold, the gold here, the silver, same thing here. Uh, all that blue, the nice Tampagraph Decepticon logo there. All the silver that uh, gold there at the bottom, the blue here. So uh, a lot of the the paint that's used in the jet, it transfers back over to the uh, robot mode, which looks really nice. Sometimes whenever you go through the transformation, some of the paint that's on, you know, uh, one of the modes, it doesn't really transfer over and it doesn't appear uh, on the other. So they did a really nice job with this one. And, every, you know, everything looks good. I, you know, the wings and everything, it looks fine to me. Uh, there is one tr uh, problem whenever you're getting into the articulation, so we'll go ahead and get into that. Uh, the head, you know, you rotate here. Uh, you get a lot more clearance than you did with the hot rod, so uh, this rotates fine. You kind of go it side to side if you want to. Uh, the arms, they go up and down. They also rotate here. The elbows, they bend 90 degrees. The only thing is whenever you rotate here at the bicep, you can see that gun's hitting that back of that wing, so you kind of have to open it up. And... Uh, or however you want to uh, so you can adjust it so you can move that arm so that's it that's the only thing uh, it's not really that big of a deal uh, I'll just leave his arms like this they look fine to me so uh, but whenever you get your figure you'll do whatever you want to with it uh, waist obviously rotates there legs go back and forth they go in and out rotate here at the thigh bend more than 90 degrees here at the knee and the foot goes back and forth and again you have where they're molded to where the feet are kind of like in a stance instead of just going up and down uh, so i think again that looks that looks kind of cool i like that so you can see what i'm talking about with the the feet there and uh we'll go ahead and bring in uh hot rod so you can just see these two side by side but uh he's a little bit shorter um, then Hot Rod, you know, as far as, you know, head-to-head, -head, uh, goes, um, I guess I'm fine with it. I, I, I like all these deluxe figures. The, they're actually some of my favorite deluxe figures that, uh, Hasbro's done, or Hasbro Takara's done. Uh, and they, they've just knocked it out of the park as far as char character selection for Titans Returns, for, at least for me, uh, doing a lot of these Japanese characters, so... Anyways, uh, that's a little quick look at him, a little 360. We'll go ahead and get back into the transformation. So we'll take our head back, go ahead and put in the hands, and then we'll come down with the guns. Go ahead and straighten those out. Come down with that, straighten that out, bring that around, bring that around. And then this is a little tough, so um, everything's popped in there. You're going to... There we go. Pull that out. Uh, this is like connected right on top of there. Uh, if you have fingernails, maybe you can push a little bit better. Uh, I can't. So I just kind of yank it and uh, pull out just like so. All right, so we got them this weird mode here. Uh, we'll go ahead and come down with that. Go ahead and bring that down. Go ahead and rotate that and go ahead and connect there. Now we need to rotate here at the legs. Go ahead and push these down. And these will connect these legs here. And we want this like crotch area thing to kind of tuck in right here. Uh, so when you bring this around, yeah, you want to get, like, not where it's sitting like this, because this, that won't work, right? So, uh, you want to get it to where that crotch kind of tucks in there in between those legs. That way, when you bring this around, uh, you have that little peg to fit on the inside there. Same thing over here. 
There we go. And we can push that in. So you can kind of see how all the crotch is uh, it's not straight out like this. It's kind of going inside uh, this kind of leg cabin area or in the calves here. And then with this, you can see that there is a peg there <clears throat> and a slot right there. Go ahead and push that in there. And then this will slide into there. And fix, fix that. So do the same thing with this one. That'll fit in there. This will slide into there. You got the landing gear. Go ahead and push that down. And just put your, your guns back on. And we have him back in his awesome looking uh, jet mode. So, and you can put, you know, this guy back in the canopy anyway. So, uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, I think this guy looks pretty awesome. Depending on the way the uh, Takara one turns out, I might pick him up too, just because I'm a huge fan of this uh, design. I really like it that much. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.